Well, this morning we're also learning how the Marquette City Fire Department is using new technology called Command Scope. Samantha Rivera telling us more about it. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Vicki. So while Marquette does experience less fire incidents than the state average, this new technology, Command Scope, is really going to allow first responders to act a lot smarter when it comes to responding to their emergency. So as you can see up here on the screen, this is the software that they use. It'll allow them to really know immediately what the floor plans are, what the shutoff locations are, campus maps for schools like NMU, Marquette Senior High School, restaurants like Casa Calabria, and really get to their destination a lot faster. You can see right here they have a total of 24 the list is going to continue to grow. In the next half hour, we'll talk to Chris Schertz. He's an engineer here at the Marquette City Fire Department. He's going to tell us more about the benefits that a community like Marquette can really get from this new technology. So make sure to stay tuned. Live in Marquette, Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Thank you very much, Samantha. Now we're going to head over to Weather Center 6 to find out what's coming our way today. The Marquette City Fire Department recently integrated new technology helping first responders act smart, faster and smarter. So this morning, Samantha is telling us more about it. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Vicki. So Command Scope came to the Marquette City Fire Department in mid-January. Again, this gives these guys immediate information to floor plans, hazardous material, anything that you might find in buildings like Marquette Senior High School. Right now, they're using the software on these tablets. They're hoping to get it installed inside their trucks within the next month or so. And here to tell us more about that is engineer Chris Schertz. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. So uh, tell us, aside from the, the basic floor plans, what other information does Command Scope provide? Uh, basically, any information for after hours, if the business is closed and we get called there, they have key uh, holder information, so contact information. We can call someone to come in, and it offers us, especially for the new guys, a layout, what to go into. Like you said, hazardous materials, so we can kind of know what we're going into and also look it up because there's some features on there that you can click, and it gives us emergency uh, data sheets. Okay, and how do you go about uh, getting this information inside your database? Um, each field that you see on the TV there on the s left uh, side of the screen, you can click on each one of those tabs there and input them uh, individually. Okay. So, like if we were to click on one right now. You can, yeah, you can <laughs> do that. Um, like contact information or building information. Okay. We could put all this information in there by drop downs and we can customize each one of these little segments for our use. Okay, and you told me you also update these yearly, right? The floor plans and everything? Yep, most businesses know us coming around every year for ECIs. Mm -hmm. This year, from going from last year, we're going from paper copies to this brand new software, and we'll be able to do it quicker, easier. So if we ask for contact information, it's going to be neat, clean, easy to read. Uh, so okay. this one's for the fire hall, and there's really no contact there a lot easier. And you also said the tech support for this is very good, right? In case in this doesn't work for whatever reason. Yes, if we have any issues, um, let's say a tablet goes down, yeah. we can get a new tablet and basically put all our information on there within minutes. Okay. And we can call them day or night and they get back to us fairly quickly within that's, 24 hours. That's really good news. And overall, why do you think it was important for you guys to bring this to the Marquette community? It gives us the opportunity to have the information at hand quicker, easier to access, and especially with our department being newer guys, maybe not from the area, now we can have all this information at a fingertip instead of having to go back and try to find some information or contact 911 for additional help. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. And when we return, we're going to tell you guys more details about the new technology that's benefiting the Marquette community. Recording live, Samantha Rivera, T6 News. Thank you very much, Samantha. That is a great idea. The Marquette City Fire Department is putting its newest technology to use. It's a box called Command Scope. tv 6s Samantha Rivera is live in Marquette to bring us up to speed on how this benefits the community. Good morning again, Samantha. Good morning, Andrew. So Command Scope is really going to allow these first responders here at the Marquette City Fire Department to act a lot faster and a lot smarter when it comes to getting immediate access to floor plans just like this one. This is from Marquette Senior High School. And again, right now they have the software also on these tablets that they can take out with them anywhere they go. They're hoping to have these installed uh, in their trucks within the next month or so. But like I said, they also have a lot of other information within this database. And here to tell us more about it is again, and Chris Schertz. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. So tell us more about the different features that this has. 
Um, like you see there, you can do the floor plans, and as we can look at it, this also offers us door numbers, but we can also take this, and since PD has tablets in their vehicles already, we can share this information exactly with PD, so if they get called to the high school for something, we can respond with them, and we all have the same kind of layout, same kind of game plan to go in with. As you also look, um, mutual aid departments can come in and look at the same thing as you see on this page. But also up in the corner here, you will see this little map it icon. And this is right now currently linked to Google Maps, but in a couple of weeks, we're gonna have it hooked up to our city uh, GIS mapping program, okay. which will allow us to not only look at the building or you know the high school, but property as well. So we know who owns the property we have GPS locations on all our hydrants and the gallons they flow per minute, which offers us a huge help, especially come winter time. Yeah, definitely. And so you also mentioned that the tablets are gonna be connected to 911 eventually, right? Yes, uh, we're working with 911 uh, Central right now, which is our 911 call center. And with their help, we're gonna integrate the two together so when you call 911 and say my address is 418 South Third, which is here, mm -hmm. it will pull up automatically before the officer gets in the truck, the pre-plan for that building and any information we need. And at the same time, Central can say, here's all our updated information without getting on the radio and tying up airtime. Mm -hmm. We can just see it and respond. Okay, and I know you also mentioned right now you have 24 different locations within your database. How long do you think it'll take to have all of Marquette's locations? Um, it could probably take us up to six months, maybe a little bit more, because uh, we have to enter all these in by hand right now. Mm -hmm. And then as we go through the year, we can update them when we meet with business owners or people that are willing to give us maps that are electronic. And okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Chris. <laughs> well, thank you. And showing us this really important uh, new technology that's going to be available here at the Marquette City Fire Department. Reporting live in Marquette, Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Thank you so much, Samantha. And as we continue on this Wednesday morning,